crazy guys got me to where I am right now. And right now, YouTube sensation and teen heartthrob Justin Bieber is dominating the entertainment world. And Showbiz Tonight can tell you everyone wants a piece of him. Love you, Bieber. Including the liberal voter outreach group Campus Progress, who some critics say have gone too far with this political ad featuring the pint sized pop star. It's us asking you to vote for celebrities who can't. Celebrities like Justin Bieber. Whomever we elect in the 2010 midterm elections will impact his future. Oh my God, I love him so much. <laughs> and ours. The Washington Post's Alexandra Petri slams the video, calling it the worst political ad ever for shamelessly using Bieber. It's the approach of them dragging him in to try to gin up votes that I think is the sort of deceptive part of it. Tell everyone to vote again in 2010. If they won't do it for you, ask them to do it for Bieber. No apologies from Campus Progress, who wanted to light a fire under young voters. And what better way to bring the heat than with Bieber, who's dominating social media. Campus Progress's Sarah Hale Merriam tells Showbiz Tonight the mere mention of the Biebs name coupled with video of the singer has electrified their voter campaign. Ask them to do it for Bieber. But wait a minute, Justin Bieber, who by the way didn't endorse this ad, is Canadian and he's too young to vote. So what's the point? Bieber's fans will be impacted by the outcome of the midterm elections. What takes place on November 2nd will impact Justin Bieber and will absolutely impact them. This video is intended to just get people's attention. And get people to the polls, says Campus Progress. But the Washington Post's Alexandra Petri tells Showbiz Tonight she'd rather some sit this one out. I sort of want to start my own sort of counter campaign to say, you know, if you're one of those people and you see this ad and you earnestly think the best reason to go out and vote is because it'll impact Justin Bieber's future, just do us all a favor and maybe don't vote. It's not just about Justin Bieber, but I'm glad that uh, we, we did get your t attention by satirically suggesting that it, that it is. We're trying to get young people to vote. I think that's something, or at least I would hope that's something, uh, that we all can agree and, and decide that that's an, a very important thing. I doubt that they're going to vote for much of anything other than things they imagine Justin would like, you know, like care or care initiative. If they actually have their desired effect, though, then the polls will be flooded with crazy people. Crazy wouldn't be what marketing expert Ira Kolb calls the idea. He says Bieber's target audience may be 12-year-olds, but if they're talking about this viral political video, you can bet their parents are listening. Teenagers are a very powerful force, and they can get their parents to do all sorts of things uh, for a number of reasons. Bieber's camp hasn't commented on campus progress Congress's political ad, but the teen star knows all too well about the power of the digital universe. You know, uh, YouTube and Twitter and, and MySpace and stuff, all that like internet, social media stuff um, has definitely helped my career. Campus Progress hopes Bieber's fans will also propel their political message to new heights by tapping into disenfranchised voters who just may cast a ballot, even if it's simply on behalf of the Biebs.